Hello! Yes, we're doing this again. Chapter 14. Her perfume's holding me ransom. Oh, I like that title. That's a good title. That's good. Or the one where Laura might possibly like girls, but not the girl who keeps touching Carmilla. Not that one. Oh, yes, yes, just, just. Jealousy. I like it. Okay. She reads at least 15 different forums. God, for one, Carmilla's a girl. Oh, really? Her dreams was definitely going down a not PG-13 path, and she can't really ignore the ache between her legs. Ha, ah, good. <laughs> oh, the Norwegian is early this time. Fy fan. I ain't clear for that. Det skal dere bare vet. Det skal dere bare være helt fullstendig klar over. Dette... Oh, er hardt for meg. It's like basic biology. <laughs> the fact that she isn't attracted... Oh... No... You can't even... The fact that she isn't... Attracted to Carmilla doesn't change the fact that she was thinking of... No... Dreaming of sex. The fact, the fact that she isn't attracted to Carmilla, the fact that she isn't attracted to Carmilla, that is a sentence in this fic right now. That is a real, <laughs> that's a <laughs> oh, damn it, Laura, holy shit. So she decides not to let herself feel too guilty about kind of enjoying it in the dream, not in reality. It's natural for her body to respond to those kind of thoughts. Yeah, and she briefly considers bringing it up to Carmilla. Oh god, please do it, please. Her arms wrapped around Laura's yellow pillow. Sex dream about my best friend. Please explain. Marry me. That's the plan. <laughs> Ugh, they're so cute. And things are not okay. That's sad. She keeps thinking about kissing her. Which still isn't really a violation of anything because she doesn't want to kiss her. questions that she should have considered before. Maybe you should have. She could close the distance, put a hand on Carmilla's knee, or maybe in her hair. She likes that idea. She likes that idea! <laughs> and see if she's as good, a, good of a kisser as she dreamed. Yes, please, Laura, please do that. Carmilla wouldn't mind, I promise you. You would be greeted with open arms. And an open mouth. That would be a good thing. Laura can't really see things from that perspective. Even if she feels like maybe she could one day. Oh, she is, she's just a tiny baby gay who needs time and guidance. And there's no good way to explain that it's about curiosity, not romance or attraction. No, no, 
she knows. It's just, it's just curiosity over it. <laughs> and whatever lingering feeling that dream left her with. <laughs> or whatever the, oh, that feeling. That feeling is not curiosity. God damn it, Laura. God damn it. She furrows her eyebrows. That still seems kind of unlikely. She should know if she's gay. Laura's always been straight. It's not. Like <laughs> it just dawned upon me, like that sentence. <laughs> she should know if she's gay. Yes, you should. But do you? No. No, you don't. Everyone knows that w women are prettier. <laughs> this probably has nothing to do with your friend. If you aren't attracted to her in that way like you said. Although maybe you are. You said you were straight, but you called her pretty four separate times in one paragraph. Whatever, she probably worded it a little strangely. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> Laura rushes to put her computer on the coffee table and stand up too. Where, uh, where do you have to go? Home. Bring on the feels. Bring on the pain. Every crappy comment she's ever made about Carmilla not having friends etches their words into her heart and her eyes burn. The selfish, selfish part loves that Carmilla is here, risking whatever the punishment. The kind part of her hates the selfish pride she feels when Carmilla admits, if she knew, I probably wouldn't be anywhere near you right now. Wow. You put that into words. You put that thing into words. That, that selfish feeling. I haven't seen that before. Like, the description of that, that's incredibly, incredibly well written. Damn. And maybe I don't feel like letting that happen again. Ah, oh, canon dialogue. Fuck. So good. It's oh, so impressive. Hmm, I like it. I guess you're worth it or whatever. Wow, that's. I mean, I know it's all probably really complicated for you, and there's a lot more to it than. I know it's not about me, but that means a lot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Of course, it's about you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. And Kremla's hands snake around her back, and for whatever reason, it reminds her of her dream. I don't want to read this. I don't. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, it's uncomfortable. Oh, okay. The lock releases with a soft click, and Carmilla pushes the door open tentatively. She swallows and turns to face her mother. I'm so scared. God, there's like. Holy shit, I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, why do you always have to be so ungrateful? Stupid, stupid, stupid. She's an idiot for wanting her to care. And it helps that the girl I'm talking about is my roommate. Oh, that's a lovely little nod right there. Elsie, this is Laura. Laura, Elsie. Elsie! Paige! Oh, imagine Paige in everything. Sorry, are you and Carmilla... Uh, are you t two together? They're so obviously in love to the outside world. If shit gets hectic again, I could hook you up. You there? <sighs> Damn it, JP. Like, he's a good guy, but... And he's trying to help. But this is not the way. She's a cute stalker. Should I message her, message her back? <coughs> no. Smiley face. Danny, smiley face. 
It's like reading Bianca and Olivia's answers to like everything. That residual feeling is bound to go away soon though. That feeling, Laura, that feeling is love. Like that is, you are in love. Because first of all, she knows she doesn't actually have a crush on her best friend. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor, poor lost little puppy. La Fontaine doesn't think they'll have many of these moments, the good ones, with their parents once they come out. They might as well cherish their good memories while they can still make them. <clears throat> That's horrible. That hurts. She could kiss her until she forgets about Laura. Don't do that. Don't do that. Elsie's not going anywhere. She can try to make it work tomorrow. <laughs> no! You can't! You can't! She has to think of Carmella and try to figure out a solution, even if Carmella says it's pointless. You sweetheart. Oh, it's so bittersweet. When she hears the word date coming from Carmilla's mouth, her face heats up. Oh, the fury. Really, really jealous. She's jealous. Guys, she's, she's telling herself that she's jealous. She knows. She's aware of jealousy. Like, that's... She is... She understands a feeling that she has. Progress, Laura. Fucking progress. To want her in a new, really scary kind of way. She's analyzing things. She's she's coming to some kind of conclusion, like slowly working herself towards it. There's progress here. This is good. I am proud of the little tiny gay. And she just makes Laura happy. Really, really happy. Like she was in the dream, except that was a different kind of happy. <laughs> She's so innocent. <laughs> tiny beautiful, pure cinnamon roll to pure good for this world. She's really looking forward to the moment that those thoughts fade away and she can go back to the way it was before. That should happen any day now. <laughs> do you want me to scream? I... Yes, that's probably what you want me to do. Ah! Is Kirsch different these days? She asks around the mouthful of popcorn. Oh my god. I got a text from him this morning and I smiled. Of course that's a bad thing. Thank god someone needs to get that beefcake cake off his pretentious high hole horse. Hell yeah. Fucking Liam. Oh, fuck him. That's at least one last night that she has to worry about her. This is so... This is just so painful. The shower turns on from the other side of the bathroom door and Laura takes really long showers already. So she doesn't worry about anybody overhearing her conversation. <clears throat> oh, Carmilla, if you only knew what's going on in that bathroom. She'd kill you if she heard you say that. No, she wouldn't, but she'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd blame you. No, 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 no. She probably would too. <sighs> she made me vacuum the entire house this afternoon for talking back. Sounds torturous. <clears throat> Carmilla kind of loves how innocent they managed to keep him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. It was. No. Well, that was not torture at all. I'm sure the pretty girl has nothing to do with it then. Only everything, actually. Hey, do you want me to hang up on you? No. Didn't think so. This was a... This was kind of this was nice. This was kind of a chill chapter and I'm I'm very okay with that. I am I like it. I can be calm. This would probably be a boring video because of that, but I don't care. Um 
I like it. It's nice to have a little breather. This is a breather. It's gonna get fucking horrible, and I know it, and I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, yeah. I like this shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye!